For dessert with Karen Doster, she is here making a pumpkin tiramisu with Wisconsin mascarpone mm, cheese. That's right. Love that. And of course, tiramisu is what was, what mascarpone cheese goes really well with. You know, that's where it all started. And sure. we make a lot of it in Wisconsin, and we make great award-winning mascarpone yeah, cheese. Good stuff. So we're going to make a recipe that's from our Great Pear Share uh, magazine. We're going to start with some whipped cream and sugar. There's uh, We have two-thirds cup of sugar, Amy, and three-quarter cup of uh, Lamer's heavy cream. cream. So, and then okay. a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. Okay. And you want to get that to us. About the soft peak stage. I've never heard. I love tiramisu. It's when I go out for Italian food, and if they have tiramisu, I'm ordering it. Um, but I've never heard of pumpkin. I love that right. idea for it's the a holidays. Nice twist, yeah. absolutely. So while you're doing that, I have one container of the Wisconsin mascarpone cheese and some of the canned pumpkin puree, okay. one cup, and then a little bit of pumpkin pie spice, a okay. teaspoon of that, and I'm going to mix that together. And while I'm doing that, you can see that I've actually taken a loaf pan and have lined it with some saran wrap. Okay. What we're going to do is make our tiramisu layers in that pan and refrigerate it, and then we'll finish it off uh, the next day before your guests come, later that day, whatever works best for you. Okay. So do we want, like, kind of kind soft peaks? Peak, yeah, soft peaks. Soft, okay. soft okay. peaks are fine okay. yeah, for that one. And then what we're going to do, if, if someone's not familiar with um, tiramisu, it uses lady fingers, okay? And lady fingers you can find like in a package similar to this in the grocery store. They're that's the real uh, kind of hard cookies. Yeah, like a short bread They look cookie. like a finger. Mm -hmm. I've even seen them soft too. Either okay. one will work. Okay. I chose to use this because it kind of fits the pan okay. perfectly. And you'll need uh, about three packages of it, three layers of it. Okay. That. Okay. So this part's ready. All right. Let me get that a little bit further. And then I also, while you're doing that, I have whipped up the topping for later. A little bit more whipped cream. A little powdered sugar and a little vanilla in here, and that's going to be our topping. Okay. For later. Okay. Okay. So at home, you let this whip a little bit longer. A little longer. And again, this is all found on our website, greatpearshare.com. It's our online cookbook that has 50 recipes, all kinds of holiday recipes, fun things like that. So we're going to put this in here. All right. And yours, like I say, is going to be a little more fluffy. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. a little bit more there, and mix that together. And then uh, we're going to start layering. Okay. All right, so let's get that. Cook cookies on the bottom? Well, we're going to start with a little bit of the cream on top. Okay. okay? We're going to make three layers. Okay. I want to make sure I get that mixed pretty well there. Well, it turns out to be a gorgeous color. Yeah. It's really delicious, too. This is really simple, to be honest with you. So, all right, then we're going to make sure we have kind of divided into thirds. Okay. And spread about a third of the filling on the bottom. There we go. And then you're going to uh, just line up your uh, lady fingers on the bottom. And it will take about six, seven, whatever fits there. Now, I've also have some espresso coffee. Mm -hmm. That's very common. Uh, that's what's used in tiramisu. That I actually use some instant, okay? Or you can use some strong coffee. And what you want to do between layers is uh, put a little bit of that coffee on there and that's going to really give it some great flavor. And it's going to soften up those cookies. Right. Um, what I'm liking about this is no baking required. No I mean, baking it, at all. It looks real fancy. Yeah, it really does. So again, we're going to put some more of the uh, cream on there and spread it out. And then put some more cookies on. Uh -huh. Lady fingers. All right. So it's three layers, basically. Three layers. You keep uh -huh. it going. Okay, so right. you get the idea. Um, yeah. So we have one that's already done. Right. And then so this gets then you refrigerate it okay. for at least two hours or overnight. And actually, overnight is kind of nice because okay. I think the flavors all meld together. And you can do it ahead, you know, especially for some of those Thanksgiving dinners. So uh, we're going to remove the saran wrap, and I'm going to put this plate on here okay. and invert it. Like that. That was easy enough. Yeah. And then remove this. And, and you want to do this right before you serve, okay? okay? And then what you'll do is take some um, additional lady fingers, and I'll give you some too, and put it up and down the sides like that just to kind of decorate it. So it looks real pretty. And then in the center, we'll go the whipped cream. So I'll let you put those on there. You bet. And I'm going to put this on top. So it really looks pretty fancy. It does. But you did it really you know, easily too. And again, when you taste that, you'll see how rich, you know, uh, that, that Wisconsin mascarpone cheese is, is in there that's nice and buttery and creamy. And the extra whipped cream on the top. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And you can sprinkle with a little bit more pumpkin pie spice if you'd like. There you go. And that's kind of a 
That twist on a beautiful a, a pumpkin dessert. Yeah. Perfect for Thanksgiving, the holidays, anytime actually. Put this on your dessert buffet mm -hmm. and um, there you like go. Say, it looks like a, you picked it up at a fancy pastry shop. Uh, Karen, um, always a pleasure to see you. I hope you have a wonderful you, you uh, too. Uh, dinner with your family. Karen's daughter lives out of town, so I'm sure. She's coming in. I know. That's so, <laughs> that always makes Thanksgiving so special when the whole family is complete. So, And we'll put the recipe for this pumpkin tiramisu on our website. So, again, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. We'll be right back. Stay with us.